well, no, we got a lot of trips coming up this year, uh, you know, a lot of conferences, but I haven't traveled in about a month or two and I don't miss the hotel rooms. I understand that having the, the digital key is easier, but, but just standing there with like this credit card thing in the hallway, trying to get into your room. I mean, it just seems like it's not, it's not solid. It's not, it's not secure enough. You know, when, you know, when you have a physical lock and a thing, it's like, makes a chick sound it's like a deadbolt thing, but th th this is like a beep. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not the same as what I'm trying to say. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to take a look at scope tag, something we never really got into uh, on the channel yet. So I want to give a lot of folks an overview, explain what they are and why you probably should be using them. I do like opening my hotel room door with my phone. That part is, uh, that part's fun. for the modern workplace. All right, so what is a scope, I guess? And, and taking it a step further, what's a scope tag? All right, so when we talk about managing things in Intune, this is a very common scenario. You have an admin, maybe that's the Intune admin, the global admin. Well, it shouldn't be the global admin, but your admin controls the devices, apps, profiles, and policies for the whole tenant, right? But here's the thing, let's say we zoom out a little bit and you have, let's say you have a somewhat large organization and you don't want one admin managing all the devices, all the apps, all the policies, all the profiles, right? So what do we do here? So let's say this is your master Intune admin. And then what you do is you have other admins for different areas. So maybe you have regionally, you have a US Intune admin, Maybe you have an EMEA, right? Into the admin. And then maybe someone to cover your Asia Pacific region. So APAC into an admin. So what I can do to help the situation is I can assign scope tags to devices, apps, profiles, and policies um, that, that correlate to the role. So if I want to make a tag called US, right? Make that bold. Everything here will have the US tag. The group here will have the EMEA tag. And finally, I have my APAC tag. So each admin only has control over the items that are within their scope, right? And that's kind of the point of the tag. While the master Intune admin um, generally will have the privilege of the default tag or the default scope, and they would have access to everything under them. All right, so that's how we define scope. Now the tag is very simple. The scope tags are the, thi are the things that are applied to the individual objects that tell them what scope they belong in. Tagging makes it very easy for Intune to take the individual components and align them to a scope. You know, imagine if I sent you into a store and said, hey, I already bought a bunch of things for you. And if it has a blue tag on it, that's yours, you go pick it up. Um, well, you'll know when you go in by looking at each item if it has a blue tag, it's yours. Whereas if I tell someone else, hey, go in and everything with a red tag is yours, and they're not going to touch the blue tag stuff. All right, so we have to set up a few things in Intune to make this work. The first thing is the scope. So think about the scope as the classification, meaning is this US? Is it retail? Is it, you know, a specific franchise owner? Wh whatever it is, it's, it's a classification of how we're divvying things up. Okay, the next is the role. So the role is the admin privilege, right? This might be device, admin, Intune, admin, whatever it is you end up, uh, whatever privileges you give that individual, that's the control they're gonna have within this scope. All right, now that we have a scope and a role, we need folks to go in it. So these are the scope members. So these are gonna be the assigned users who have the privileges for this role, right? Scope tags do not affect end users uh, or that experience. It's only for administrative purposes. So these are gonna be the folks who have that role that's part of the scope. Okay, and the last, the last piece here is tagged objects. Tagged objects are the things that are scope, things in scope. So for example, devices, apps, policy, right? Everything we talked about already, right? So if you look at it, basically the way it works is 
The scope is the classification we're using, and that's going to contain a role. The role has members in it, and those members will then have governance over any tagged object that makes it part of the scope. While it's very common in distributed IT and you know larger orgs, it doesn't mean a small to medium-sized org shouldn't have, or at least shouldn't think about how they want to scope things, right? So, you know, remember, you can make this as granular and complex and wide or as simple and straightforward as you want. All right, so now that we talked about what it is, let's head back to Intune and let's go to tenant administration and let's go to roles. And here is where you're going to find scope tags. And these ultimately will determine the scopes. So I have some I made here uh, that I was using for different things. And we'll get to this in a future video. But in the meantime, I'm going to make two tags, one for North America and one for Europe, right? Imagining I'm running a, a large enterprise and I have things in both places. So this is my North America tag, although it's really good to have... Um, a naming convention. So in this case, let me see if I can zoom in on this. In this case, I'm going to make this a tag for my PCs in North America that are the corp build, because maybe I also have kiosks. So let's do North America PC corp. So North America PCs corp build. That's my little description. Now, right off the bat, it tells me assign scope tags to all devices in select security groups. So I can begin already applying the scope tag to all devices within a specific security group. Um, so let's actually go take a look real quick on what would make sense there. So let's make a group with the same name, NA Corp, NA PC Corp. And this is going to be North America PCs corporate build. And I'm going to try to leave everything as similar as possible so it, it makes sense. Um, and let's put a device in here. All right, let's pick the Surface laptop. Okay, so that device is considered a North American corporate device. So now I'm going to assign the tag to that group. So anyone I put in that group will get tagged. Um, so we're going to look for NAPC. Oh, and there it is. North America PCs court build. So now what I want to do is I want to create a role, right? That is just scope to that. So we're going to make a new Intune role. We're going to call it NA PC Corp Ad, uh, Intune Admin. Intune Administrator for North, for North American PCs court build. And there's all kinds of policies you can give it, you know, so just make sure you give it uh, proper permissions that you want, right? Um, especially if it's something like read only, you may not want to do a create or delete, right? Like for device compliance policies, for example, things like that. And then when you go to create that role, you select your scope tag and I'm going to remove default because I only want it to apply to the North America group. All right, now let's tag a few things. Right. We already we should have tagged the device because it's in the group. So let's go look at let's go look at it here. Uh, properties. OK, and if we click open, we'll see that it's the North American uh, tag that we applied. So that should be the only device that group can control. All right. Let's look at a few other items. Configuration. Um, Let's do the Google Chrome policy. Let's add, I have that tag to a few things, but let's go ahead and add the North America tag to that just so we can control that as well. Okay, and let's do an app. So Windows, uh, Autopilot Branding, Properties. Let's go ahead and add North America to that as well. So this will show you how this all comes together. I'm going to give a user the role. And then when they sign in um, to see what they're going to see, they're, they're not going to have the same control that other admins would have. They're only going to be scoped down to North America components. So, okay. So now what we need is we need a group that we're going to put the admins in who are going to get this role. So I'm going to make a group called NAPC Corp Admins. 
So Intune admins for North American PCs, court builds. First, I'm gonna put a member in. Let's do Clark Kent. Okay, so Clark's part of the group and we're gonna create this and we'll be good to go. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back to tenant administration, go to roles, go down to my North America one and we are gonna create an assignment. So we'll say NAPC Corp assignment. We're gonna add the group we just created. Corp admins. Administrators in this role assignment can target policies, applications, and remote tasks. So basically you're determining what they have governance over. Now, because we're just gonna scope everything, I'm gonna put all devices, all users. Right now, if you only wanted them to see certain ones, you could do that as well. But this is only going to be applying to our scope. So there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna open up an incognito browser so I could sign in with different credentials. Rubik's dev, let's sign in as Clark and see what that experience is on the admin side. All right, so now when Clark logs in, you can see things are a little different. So I can't see all the devices. The device I can see has been scoped to me, right? And that's because if you go to the tag and properties, yeah, you can look at, it's got the North American tag, right? So as far as Clark is concerned, there's one device in here. And that's great because this way, everyone in the North American PC group as an admin can administrator, can administrate these things. And they can still do the things you permission them to do. Like I have delete available, but you can see I've restricted wipe, retire, um, and all these remote tasks that have to turn that on. Okay, if we go over to apps now, I go to Windows, I'm only gonna see the one app as well, right? So you could package apps, you can do them up here, but you can make it so the folks who are, uh, you know, running Intune can only see the apps you give them permission to in that scope. Now, compliance policies, I don't recall if I did any of that. So let's go to compliance. Yeah, and there's nothing here because I haven't tagged anything. So if I go back as my regular admin, let's go to uh compliance and i have my default windows compliance policy and i am going to add the tag to it so that clark can see it so let's go to edit let's add north america and let's save that and probably take a minute but the next time let's see how long that takes if i refresh yep didn't take very long um now i can see it Right, so it doesn't have to be all or nothing up front. You can make changes gradually as you go along. So this opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of how you can do distributed IT. You know, not just for different types of admins, but also if folks are working on things like maybe beta policies or pilot applications and they don't want everyone being able to see them, you can give them tags and just have some users go in. Maybe you have a dev tag, right? That's not a bad idea. So people who are working on things that are in production will sign in and only see dev devices, dev apps, dev policies. So, um, you know, it, it really kind of expands the capability of Intune. And it's one of those things that makes it way more robust than it sometimes looks on the outside. So let me know how you use scope tags. Always interested in them. Um, you can do quite a bit with them. I'm also going to have a, uh, a written piece coming out that has some of those diagrams and breaks down a lot of what we talked about. So uh, jump in the Discord if you're not already, and we'll be seeing you.